How's it going guys? This is going to be one of my first videos, but I've made many, many videos before. I'm usually a funny guy, but this time I'm going to be a serious guy. I can't, I'm, I can't stay serious. Okay, but I do have something to say to everybody. For first timers, I'm pretty sure there's a lot of you guys out there that's already done this before the first time and did a video, so I'm going to be one of them. I uh, purchased an older, uh, older camper. It's really super small. It's not super big, but I'm going to turn it into a project. My wife, and my child, and I, we, we live, we live in this right now, and so I'm, I get kind of bored a lot, so I'm slightly autistic too as well, so I'm going to, because I always have to do something with my hands, so I thought, well, why not remodel? Uh, there's not a whole lot wrong with this right now, but for people that have the eye, the photo, the, the picture art I, uh, eyes, I mean, this is a mess, so... When someone comes in and looks at this, I mean, I guess it's not, it's not too bad, but it is kind of, there's lots of, a lot of things wrong. You're like, cause I mean, this kind of wood, I mean, you can hear that. I mean, it just pushes right up in there. It's kind of weak. So I'm going to be doing the ceiling. I'm kind of maybe doing this backwards. Like I said, I'm first timing at this, but in my mind, I'm thinking to take, you know, the, these off. And so over here, I'm going to be doing the same thing. I'm going to be taking those off. Um, and then the blinds as well. Thinking to sand down the walls here, like all the blue. And then I'm thinking about finding a refrigerator, a new one, a new stove, a new, well, a new setup right here. So I'm thinking to modernize everything. So, of course, this will be coming off. Oh, I'm shaking. <laughs> Anyways, I need nicotine. I'm a smoker. All right, uh, up here, I'm thinking about... Cutting probably about like right here, maybe a little bit further, but from here over, and this is right next to the fridge here, but I'm hoping to get one of the slimmer microwaves and then slide it up in here. Hopefully it'll be a lower wattage one or one that can that um, that we can run off a battery or a generator or something like that. Um, these lights, of course, I'll be trying to modernize. I don't, I'm not an electrician. I don't know how to do that very well, so I'll probably have to have help. Same thing with this light right here. This I don't like, so I want this out completely. This right here is the only vent, which is kind of a problem to me, but I do believe this is the exact size I'm gonna to need to put, because this does not have an AC. So I'm thinking about purchasing an AC and putting it right up in here, one of those ceiling ones. And, uh, but hopefully this is the right amount of space that I'll need for that. Um, if anyone has ideas, I'm gonna be posting these videos as I go. That way people can, you know, go ahead and share their thoughts, um, maybe to help me out a little bit. But um, again, like I said, I'm, I'm eventually going to be looking for a new fridge, new unit here. One of the uh, summer microwaves to go up here because this does not have a microwave with it. So hopefully we can figure that out. Um, doors, I'm pretty sure, I mean, they're, they're fine. But I mean, I do want them to get them restained and... Um, Jeez, I can't even remember what, or polyurethane. I don't even know what you call it. Maybe, I don't know if there's something, some coat that protects it. Uh, someone remind me what that is. I might be able to figure it on my own, but uh, either way, just go ahead. And if you know what that is, go ahead and tell me anyway, because I may have not figured it out by then, but it would be helpful. These walls are peeling and it's pissing me off. Uh, as for the floor, go ahead and take a look at it. I do want to get that redone as well, all that down here. I might see if I can get a new front door because I don't like that color, or I can just probably just, I can just repaint it. It's metal, but I don't know how well that will work. Um, here is, I think, the heating unit. It's one of those bar looking ones. It's all metal. It's like, um, it's like almost looks like one of those oil heaters, and the old ones inside of there so i'm thinking about just replacing that with you know more of a it runs off propane and it kind of throws a little bit of a small flame in there but they're efficient and doesn't try to burn everything down if you know what i'm talking about but i do have a picture of it saved on my phone but it's a fun little project so like i said as i go i'll be posting videos on what i'm doing and it won't be this crappy of a video because i'm holding the camera and it's shaking because i'm a smoker and I am lacking nicotine.
Now keep in mind, everybody, that I am on the Social Security income. I uh, don't have a whole lot of money, so I'm trying to budget this and try to make everything look as good as possible. These are the hard times these days, and housing market's going up, and yeah. But I will share a little story with everybody. I did kind of mess up. Like I guess this is a little camper. This is all we could afford at the time. This is uh, the El Rancho uh, trailer. Um, but what we did have was I, I messed up because we were down about a thousand miles away from home. And we actually were trying to find a place out there, which is actually specific. I will, I will disclose the location on where we were, which was in uh, St. George, Utah. And uh, we came from north. We left in December and went down there and for a little bit and barely came back up here. And uh, now that it got really super hot down there. But we went down there with uh, and just in a car. And we had all of our stuff. And she was pregnant at the time and with our son. And so we went down south and we found uh, a Winnebago Wind Cruiser Itasca. It was a 37 footer. Had the 454 motor in it and it was pretty nice and the interior was pretty much original and immaculate condition so I had the original space maker which is a coffee maker for those who don't know what that is um, it was really nice and kept up the carpet was good the you know cushions were really nice nothing really torn up um, came with a nice bed in the back I mean it came with decent curtains but I did replace those eventually and then the motor it kind of puttered off a little bit and was having some issues this is where we messed up because my family was able to send us money to help us get it, which they gave us 5000 and he and the guy agreed with 6000 and so we came up with the rest because since we're on fixed income, and so we got that RV. But then when the motor started messing up, my parents put another 1500 in, and I think we paid a little bit to him. Really nice gentleman down there is a mobile mechanic. Uh... But then we ended up selling it because we thought we'd be fine with the house down there that we found, but it turned out to be a lot of money to move in. The rent was fine, but it's just we had a hard time paying the deposit. We found out after the fact that we had sold it. So we should have kept it because it was actually bigger than this and it was nicer than this. And I would have enjoyed fixing that up inside more than this. But I think this is a fun project. What we could do is probably fix this up and sell it. Maybe get a little bit more off of it and maybe save up for a RV again. We need something motorized. So again, for those watching this, if you know anyone, I will drive anywhere in the U.S. for some help or get a motorhome if anyone has any ideas. But like I said, it's just me, my wife, and our son, and we just need something better than this. So I think this I'll contribute my time into to get us into a better spot, the only way from here is up honestly but if I can modernize this I mean that might this might interest some people I will take pictures in the end I'll probably do a little show around with some music a professional show around you know like you would see like a little uh, documentary type thing and kind of go through what I did from before and after so I'll be taking pictures as well and then if this interests anybody with that video when I'm done with the final result I will be selling it so anyone throw an offer even do a trade I'm more looking for a trade for an RV a motorhome that has a motor, a bigger one. We need something nice. So this will be extra nice for that reason. And this will be luxurious for that reason. Because we need more value into this. The more value I can throw into this thing, we need something good. At least decent. It doesn't have to match the, the quality, to be honest. I mean, I can work on that later. But it has to match the price. If not, if you want to help us out a little bit, you know, be generous give us something better, a little bit nice, you know, for the size, matching the quality of this. That'd be awesome. But, I don't know. This video is coming up on 10 minutes, but this is probably as far as I want to take this. But for those of you that want to follow me in this journey, just to remodel this thing, or people that are curious on remodeling themselves, or for those that's already done it and get entertained by my stupidity and not really knowing what I'm doing, but if any of you those are, have, are experienced... And you see this video and you're following me with this and I end up doing something backwards or wrong, go ahead and stop me. Tell me, be like, hey, so you're supposed to do this first. Or for those that's just learning along with me. And then, of course, there's probably going to be a lot of people helping out with this. So we can all get smart together doing this thing, yeah? So current time, this is actually in 
This is June, end of June of 2021, so that way everyone's aware this video is new. Okay, go ahead and catch everyone later.